so I am working on clearing out this space here in the woods um, to build the new chicken coop. And um, it's gonna go in this area right here. I've marked the trees that we're gonna use to cut down for posts and everything. Um, and all of this was, I wanna say, fingers of heaven. There's also some goldenrod, but I have lots more goldenrod edging the, um, the perimeter of the forest here. Plus I have some in my front garden, so I'm not worried about losing this area right here. Um, it's a lot of cleanup to do, um, just with all of the rain and wind and everything. A lot of garbage has, I don't know where it comes from, but I pretty much come out here every day with a garbage bag and clean things up. So um, I'm gonna keep working on that and show you some progress as we cut down the trees. Um, not big ones, just ones that will make good, good for posts so we can let them cure. And then I'll probably do that build early in the spring. So I'll be showing that to you. Um, development with the chickens is my olive acre has finally started laying eggs. Um, but, and they're green, they're blue. So that's really sweet. Um, I'm gonna turn this around. They're gonna start. Um, and, but my Rhode Island reds, they've stopped and I'm hoping it's just for, um, the winter time and that they'll start producing again in the spring. Um, they produced all through the really, the really cold weather. Um, we were like negative three degrees here and, um, they produced that whole time, but right after that they stopped. So I'm hoping that this is just temporary in a little bit. I'll let them out. It is kind of, I don't know if snow is the right word. It's like hard snow, like little ice <laughs> coming down. So I'm going to get their food ready and let them out in a minute. But, um, yeah, so that's my little update. Um, I'm hoping that by this time next year, things go from this kind of janky homemade first time, you know, gardener, homesteader look to something a little more professional and a little bit neater. Um, but it's been, it's been a process. I, I'm even enjoying the mess as it's helping me really understand what it takes to take what I need to really take care of the property. So, all right, friends, that's all I have for today. Just wanted to come in and check it, check up on that. Um, well, we'll see. I may have more later, but, um, for now I will sign off. Bye-bye. Oh, well, we actually had ourselves a deer and there was some leftover parts that were not necessarily edible. Thanks for hopping along with me there. So what I did is I dug a hole about three, four feet, it's probably more like three, to be honest with you, and buried it um, in the area where I'm going to have my, where I'm going to plant my pumpkins in the spring. So um, this is where I had my potatoes. Let me turn this around. Um, I have my potatoes in this area. And so the ground is fairly, loose and so just kind of getting some of the nitrogen and um nitrogen i can't think right now <laughs> all of the things that um are needed to grow pumpkins so you need nitrogen you need phosphorus um and that piece of deer skin is going to decompose and um give a nice natural fertilization for my pumpkins. And yes, the chickens are ready to come out. So I'm gonna go let them out. Okay, guys, go eat. We got some pumpkin. No, work is never done on the homestead. Just went and picked up a bunch of garbage that was out here 
um, some of it from when we first moved in, some of it blown in on many rainstorms. Oh, I still see there's something left out there I gotta go get. Um, but I filled up this. Oh, here's something else. Where does this stuff come from? I feel like I'm out here every day picking up garbage sometimes. Um, I filled up this huge bag of stuff that I found. Balls and bottles and cans and just random stuff. But it's, it's important. Uh-oh. <laughs> we are clearing out our space for the new chicken coop. So my son is out here helping cut. I gave him clippers, but he prefers the machete. Of course. What boy wouldn't prefer the machete? <laughs> Uh oh, are you stuck? <laughs> oh, someone accidentally got stuck in the coop last night. Yeah. Oh, how did you get in there? Were you hiding? It was warm. Yeah. Tell me all about it. What happened? Oh. Were they nice? I hope they were nice. <laughs>